We are back at the Gauteng Koi Show, the 29th Koi Show, and I'm speaking to one of the entrants, a very special entrant because uh, we have a 14-year-old, uh, Stacy Ngube. Do I have it right? Yes. <laughs> Stacy, um, thank you so much that we could uh, interview you. Um, we also, you know, a lot of people think that this is an old man's hobby, um, you know, but we always encouraging the youth to understand how koi fish gets developed because you are the future of these kind of shows. Now Stacy, you like the Shiro Atsuri which mm -hmm. is the black and white, uh, but did you look for like just a balance? Yes, I wanted uh, to have a pop of colour there because you know with koi you've got different colours, different types of, of fish, yes. so I wanted to showcase that today. Okay, because I can see that there's quite a variety and also what you wanted to showcase I can see is various sizes. Yes. So you have an opportunity at various size categories uh, to, to possibly win a prize. Yeah. So I've got size 1, size 2s and some at 70 centimeters. We've got different sizes. Yes. And um, which ones are your favorite? Uh, my favorite, as you can see, the Shiro Tsuris, the small ones, those two right there. I just love how the black stands out and works well with the white together. Yes. And also like the I agree with you. Because you know it's different, no scales compared to other fish. Yes. So this would be then a Deutz yes. Lemon Harawaki. Mm -hmm. mm. um, I also see this is almost a Beko. Yes, it is. Mm. Very, very nice. So you still have the black and white Shiro Tsuri type, but it's just a little bit different. Mm. And the Sankey is back there. And the Sankey, yes. Tansho Sankey. Yes, I like the Tansho Sankey, very nice. But the Shiro Atsuris, uh, what I like most about them is a lot of people think that it's a white fish. Yeah, well, it's a white fish with black, but it's actually a black fish with white, with white markings. Okay. So it's the, the other way around. Whereas the back is a white fish with the black markings. Yes, quite right, quite right. And when they are babies, um, especially when it comes to Shawa, but also with the Shiro Atsuri, if you look in the mouth, the mouth is black. What else can you tell me? Have you, how long have you been uh, interested in koi fish? How, how did you get involved in it? So growing up with my grandparents, um, we've got koi ponds at, at home. So I took interest growing up around the creatures, you understand, and helping out my grandfather. So we breed, most of the fish here we bred ourselves on the farm. Only four are from, imported from Japan and the rest are from, we bred ourselves on the farm. Okay, so you've got a so you've imported from Japan a breeding stock, if we can call it, uh -huh. and then you've used their bloodline to, am I right, to get all these okay. these little ones that are in the pond? So I help out my grandfather with the breeding and everything else. So it's, it's an interesting hobby one can take part in. Yes. And you get to know more about fish and everything else. And it's interesting that you get involved in. You know, girls normally. Uh, at your age, at 14, normally, uh, you know, they're on their phones all the time and doing different it's other things. Good. Yeah, all that. But it's interesting that you've got involved in, in the farming and the understanding of how the fish uh, are bred. And, uh, a question, really, the judges have already uh, done all their, their necessary judging and uh, the, you know, a categorizing of the fish. But do you have, do you have a hopeful year or a yeah. couple of hopefuls? A lot of hopefuls. And which, one, which ones do you think that stands a good chance to, uh, to get something? My Shiro 2 is the size 2s and size 1s. The size 1s and 2s. I must say that is really colourful. The Sumi, which as we know is black, against the Shiru, uh, Shiroji, which is white. Shiroji meaning white as snow. Um, and that particular fish gets judged on not only the, uh, the sumi, the black, but especially on the white, how white it can be so that it can showcase. And that little one there catches my eye every time it comes around. Really, really <laughs> nice. Quite many eyes so far. Yeah. Have you managed to disseminate between males and females at size ones and twos? Or no, it's quite like difficult, eh? Hey? Yes. It yeah, is. yeah. Um, but with the older fish, uh, when one looks at the koaku, the big koaku coming through here, that is female. Uh, it's the pectoral fin that is rounded um, and uh, the males have gotten more a sharp, sharper pectoral fin. And we were talking the other day about fish can hear very well. Mm -hmm. So when they actually 
are also very good timekeepers. So when you feed them at a particular area in the pond, mm -hmm. they will wait for you. If it's seven o'clock in the morning, they'll mm -hmm. wait for you there. But they also recognize your footsteps that you, when you feed them, then they'll come as opposed to my footsteps yeah. because they know that your footsteps, so they hear very well. And pe people often think that fish don't have ears because they're under the water, <laughs> but they very definitely do. They even have noses, yes. you know, called nares. Um, so yes, well, what else can we, can we tell the, the youth out there about, about this beautiful hobby? Um, it's a hobby that everyone can take part in. It's not only for grown men. It's a hobby where you get to learn more about fish other than just swimming the whole day. It's a hobby that's quite interesting, if I may say. And I call everybody our age, there's more to life than TikTok. There's more to life. Than ah, I like to hear that. So come along and join the hobby for everybody. Yes, and... Well, Stacey, at the same time, if somebody had to come to your pond and say, I like that fish, mm -hmm. um, can I buy the fish? Obviously, that becomes an investment for you. Yes. So your fish are, are basically, um, well, it's a cash flow. Am Do I right? Something you love while getting the money. And at 14 years old, you're already, you already earning a salary, as it were, <laughs> selling, selling fish mm -hmm. and negotiating and learning the most critical skill that any youth can can carry through to the adulthood in, and that is to be a business person, and an entrepreneur. So and, the, and that, Yes, and financially stable, mm -hmm. which is what you're doing. Yes. Well, I must say, I know that the viewers are going to enjoy uh, what you've just said and uh, really just keep going. Thank you. And uh, one day I'm probably, when I'm a bit older, I'm going to come through again at the Koi Show and meet you as the chairman of, of this entire of show. Course, that's How's that? Name. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stacey. Appreciate your time. Thank you. And good luck. We'll see what happens in the prize giving. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it, folks. And uh, please, all the youngsters out there, you can see we have a complete entrepreneur that is not only enjoying the hobby, but she's making money out of this. So come along, learn and understand what it's all about. And you can, at 14 years old, you can be making your own money. How's that? Thank you. Mm -hmm.